Hello there and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together in Catherine's Garden and Home. That's right. Grow, 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 grow together. Grow, 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 grow together. Grow, 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 grow together in Catherine's Garden and Home. Good evening, good morning, good evening, good night, good afternoon. Whenever you're watching this, I want to say hello to everyone. Welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. My name is Catherine and I am here with you on Wednesday afternoons. I'm in the Boston area in, in the Northeast Zone 6. And right now, um, we are still in the part, middle of winter. It is, of course, um, kind of chilly out, but yet it's getting, it's getting warmer. Uh, today, we were in the mild um, 50s, and uh, it was really nice to be out. And the sun was shining during the day as well so it was good to feel the warmth of the sun to feel a little bit of uh, spring coming up and as i was walking around in my garden i could see that different perennials were starting to shoot up their heads like for example my peonies i could see the little red shoots coming up so they are thinking about um showing up soon and as the temperatures continue to get warmer, uh, we are looking forward to a beautiful, beautiful spring. But in the meantime, we still have winter and it is still too cold uh, to do too much because later on, I believe sometime next week, we may just get snow. So I think with this global warming that everything is shifted back uh, spring is a, a little later, so we may not um, have um, warm temperatures or the way I would like it to be in, um, in March or even into April that we can still have a snowstorm here in the, in the Northeast. And we've had snowstorms. I remember one year having a snowstorm on April Fool's Day, April 1st. It was amazing because I was so ready for spring that time. And the next thing you know, it, it snowed. It was, it was devastating. <laughs> but of course the snow melted and we were able to move on with our lives. But uh, the thing is, is that when, when it snows late like that, and or when we have a cold snap late, it affects some of my shrubs like roses. It can affect the roses and it can also definitely affect my mop head hydrangeas and things. So I always get a little, you know, uncomfortable when it snows or when it's that cold so um, late in the season or heading close to spring. But welcome to everyone. I see that there are people watching. I've gotten some likes already. Um, thank you so much. Who has come and joined me? Oh, Miss Renaissance Grandma. Hello. How are you? Thank you so much for coming and joining me here. Oh, Monica's here. <laughs> yeah, good to see you all today. I hope that all is well. I am excited about today. Why? Because I got some seeds. Yes. I fell prey to the seed monster. Yes, I went into a trance. I went into look. I looked at um, uh, the Baker Creek heirloom seed because uh, I said to myself, "Hi, Thelma." I said to myself, "Hey, Yankee sister." I said, "I said to myself, um, where is my catalog?" Hello, Sonia. How are you? I, um, I said, I have not received my free catalog yet. What is going on here? So I decided to reorder again for a free catalog. Well, of course, I had to peruse the website. 
Yep, here I was looking at the website. And I fell and I fell prey to um, all of these beautiful herbs. Yes. There I was scrolling. And I said to myself, well, you want an herbal tea garden? You want to put it all together? You want something new and fresh for your garden? Well, why don't you check out the seeds? And then when I was checking out the seeds and saw that some of the seeds were um, like $3 for a seed, not $5. I said, what? Let me see what else they got here. Thelma, you just got your Baker Creek catalog about two weeks ago. Good for you. Hey, them. How are you? Good evening. Yes. Hello, Gardens Are Me. Yeah. And so I started scrolling the seeds. And then I have started my bottle uh, winter sewing. And I said, oh, I, if I could just get a few more herbs i got seeds at walmart for 50 cents you did sonia good for you yes that seed uh, <laughs> the seeds the seeds the seeds the seeds the seeds and um so i said well let me just see what they have and i uh, i ended up ordering some seeds from them and it wasn't too bad i didn't feel too bad about it um and um it, it's just going to enhance my, you have tulips, yes, 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 yes. My husband, uh, for for, for uh, Valentine's Day, he got me the, I requested it, and he got me the tulips, uh, Bloom Maker tulips, and this is from um, Costco. And you know, when, when I got it, uh, the leaves were actually below the, the glass here. Uh, and it has actually grown this much since it's been in my home. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Hey, Jean Mama Gross, how are you? Hello to everyone. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to do a little um, unboxing, but, but it's not a box. And <laughs> it came in this beautiful envelope. Now, isn't that pretty? I love that. That that is just so pretty. Um, the seeds came in this. It says um, Chinese pink celery. And I love the artistry. I want to save this. This is so pretty. Do you like that? Yes, warm, warm temperatures definitely for um, winter. Your tulips are coming up already? Wow, my tulips haven't come up yet. I don't see them coming up yet, but I see the perennials uh, are peeping up, like my sedums, I could see the top, and then my peonies, I could see the little knobs, nubs coming up. Yeah, it's, it's, um, so, Spring is wanting to come, my, um, what do they call it? Iris, my iris, bearded iris. They are growing fresh leaves, and I see some other things popping up. Uh, but we're going to get snow. You see some poking up too? Yeah, yeah. Um, but my daffodils are popping up too, said um, Beverly. Great gardens are me. Let me move back. And see what else because I was busy talking and I didn't see what you all were saying well everyone is just greeting everyone Renaissance my Renaissance grandma she was first today Monica she beat you <laughs> but Monica was right behind she was second oh wow and then Thelma hello again good evening sister Catherine and my Renaissance grandma Monica yeah, she was she was next. And then of course my beautiful Sonia. Hello, Miss Catherine and my Renaissance grandma and Monica. Sonia is there, my faithful. Yeah, she is my moderator and greeter. And so she's been so good at it. 
and so faithful. She's here every time. I'm just so thankful. You know, because some things you can't just do by yourself. You need, we need one another. That's why my uh, topic or the, for the session is, the, the, the header is live growing together. Uh, I need you that we can come together um, and, and join each other. Oh, Chloe, you came. Hi, Chloe. How are you, my sweetie? Oh, Chloe's here today. Lovelace, hi. Blessings to you too. Yes. Peace and blessings. Subscribe in my first live. Woo! <laughs> Welcome. What is your first name, Lovelace? We could call you Lovelace and Clo Glory. Uh, Lovelace, what is your first name? Should we call you Love? Love has joined us. Yay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I feel blessed today. I truly do. I'm feeling the blessings. I'm feeling the blessings. I am. And um, I am a Betty. Hi, Betty. Hi, all. I came home with four large hellebores today. Wow, that's nice. You know, I've always seen the hellebores plants, Betty, but I never, I never purchased them. And um, they look so beautiful. Um, I, and Actually, I remember I was walking through Whole Foods and they had some hellebores there. They look so pretty. I was so tempted to, to buy some. Hey, Rachel. Yeah, Brampton Garden is in the house. Woo. How are you? You all are showing up today. When I signed in, it separates it for some reason. What separates it when I sign in? It separates. I don't know. My I don't know what's happening. I I don't know. Anyway, Sonia. Brampton Gardner is in. Yeah, so we're all greeting one another. So good to have you all. Yeah, so I'm excited about um what is coming uh, what's, what's coming along here and even for February. It's been a really good beginning of the month and um, I see things growing I've been able to get a lot of things got done and I, I see you all are busy at work as well um, getting your your things going and starting to plant your seeds those of you who like to plant your seeds indoors I see that you are uh, planting seeds and starting your seed trays and and uh, that is so inspiring uh, to see um, Thelma, Yankee Sister Home said she did a beautiful, those figs are looking great. Yes, they are. Um, Thelma did a beautiful video, a little short video on leaves and the different types of leaves growing. I like that. She showed uh, with the pep, the difference between a pepper leaf and a brassica leaf and how to identify hi brooke how are you yay so good to have you vintage gardener is here with us yes vintage gardener brooke is here with us and um that was a very nice uh video thelma i like that because you know you never think you th after a while you gain an understanding of what what plants are what and especially with um the microgreens when i was doing the microgreens i was able to tell you know what was a green versus what was a weed and so when i was picking the leaves i i could i could know and identify it and that is because we spend time with our garden we spend time with nurturing our plants and seeds so you, you're able to kind of recognize and identify them isn't that interesting how that happens the more that you are involved in something the more you're able to to see the details that other people would um, actually ignore or miss and so that that was really really nice and um, G mama growls the saw the hand saw yay I'm going I, I got I'm gonna get one they're gonna send me one too and I'm gonna test it out and I'm thankful that you actually um 
did that video on the saw, the hand saw, because if you didn't do that, I would have ignored them all together. But because of you, I said, yes, yeah, send me one too. <laughs> so I, I'm excited to get it. And I want to say thank you for doing that video. How encouraging is that? Um, that's part of our little perks. Love Lace, yes. So Love Lace is with us. Um, and um, just all that. Brooke! You said that you saw a, a snake in your home. I hope you were able to get that resolved. The chainsaw helped you? Oh, great, great. I, I am so excited for that because, like, I have that hedge wall on the, on the back side that I was thinking that I was going to have to use the hand chopper, and that could be a lot. Um, but the saw, I, I was thinking, if I could just get a saw and saw it down. So I'm hoping that it will work for me. Yeah, that is that is a good thing. I'm I'm glad to get that, um, and try it out, and hopefully it will make my a garden cleanup much much easier. So thank you. Yeah, and uh, Brooke, you said you saw a snake. Oh my goodness! Thank God for your pooch, that he was there to um, alert you to it, um, and I hope all goes well for you. Yeah, um, and what else? Who else did I see? Rachelle is starting her seeds. Saw the commercial for that chainsaw. You did? Yeah, it was good. It was really good. Uh, um, yeah, so let me just show you what I got. Yeah, I got in the mail um, this envelope here. It's really, really good. Um, is it pretty? Yeah, and it's from Baker Creek or rareseeds.com. And if you go to on, online, you will see that they have a section for herbs. And they, they have a lot more than I realized. They also have some already teas that are made together that you could just buy the teas. Um, but they have bulk herbs uh, store Eden sa sa a salve. Um, you could get bulk here store organic ginger snap tea. You could buy it in bulk. Uh, they have chamomile tea and um, cilantro. Sorry about that. Um, somebody's calling me on my phone at the wrong time, so I apologize for that. Yeah. Yes. What? What did you do, Rachel? Almost knocked my babies off the shelf. My daughter had to run, run upstairs and grab the poor tray of seedlings. Oh no! Oh no! I'm back. Could you hear me? I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, this is this looks so frameable. I think this is so pretty. And if you just get the nice, you can hear me good. Um, you could get the the um get a nice little frame. That's good. That's good. Thanks. Yeah, somebody is calling me. Oh, timing, timing. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I like this. So you could you could go back to the. Go back to the website, the Rare Seeds Co. website, and um, take a look at some of the other things. You know what I would like to get is some lemongrass. That is another one that I would like to get. And I'm sorry that I missed it when I was looking through, through this. I missed the lemongrass. But anyway, let me open it up and let you see what I got. So they have it in a nice little envelope, the package here. And, um, you know, they give you, yeah, they give you free, uh, free sample, free seeds. Thank you for your order. And this is lettuce, 
more lot. Yeah, this is the free seeds. They give you free seeds. And I love the the package. Yeah, I love the the picture they give you. You grew lemongrass last year for the first time? Oh, that's good, Thelma. I really would like to get some lemongrass, too. I don't know why I didn't order that now that I'm looking through here. Um, and then this is hops. I got hops. Hops. Yeah, I bought this. I um. You like that? Oh, Francesca, you here? Hi, Francesca. <laughs> hops, hops, Korean. It's a perennial. So I tried to pick the perennial herbs because um, I want them to grow back. But I also love the flower. I wanted the flower, so I loved this flower, and I know that it will look good in my garden with my other um, herbs and flowers that I have. Like I have some bee balm that is a very pretty purpley color. And so I decided that, um, that I would get this. Yeah, it's nice and big. And um, it's this perennial. One of the, um, let me see if I can read it. My glasses. Oh, one of the 50 fundamental herbs in Chinese traditional medicine. Robust re relative to anise hops, similar flavor and overall appearance, but very much larger. And that's why I got it, because I love the flower. You know I'm stuck on flowers, right? But And I thought this would look good also in my floral bouquets. Uh, it would look really nice. Um, it's, you know, just to add bulk. The seed packs are a little too big to fit n nicely in my seed storage drawers. Yes, Rachel had her, uh, showed her her seed storage drawer that she got. That was cute. I like that, Rachel. And I need to get mine together. I have, um, I have something to put them in. I had um, something to put my seeds in. I had shoe boxes. And I went to the, ooh, I went to the Dollar Tree today and I forgot to look and get some shoe boxes. I have the blue hops. I think I like the Korean better. Oh, well, you know, it wasn't that bad. I think it was um, either three or four dollars for it, for the pack of seeds. Your geraniums have germinated? All right. Good for you. Good for you, Bev, because that's hard to germinate. I've been watching other people who've germinated. Hops is used for GI problems, including liver, gallbladder conditions, intestinal pain, intestinal gas, uh, colic, and loss of appetite. It's also used for respiratory problems. Well, that's good. So I'm glad that I got that. So that was one. Then I also got um, this basil cinnamon. Hyssop? Oh, it's hyssop. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Francesca. I don't know. What, what was I calling? It doesn't matter. I'm glad you know what I'm talking about. Hyssop. 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 <laughs> Sometimes, you know, uh, my decoding skills are weak. Okay, Anisa, Hissa, <laughs> yeah, and then this is basil, cinnamon basil, 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 and it says uh, cinnamon basil, a spicy um, flavor, tasty Mexican variety. So this. So this, this seems like um, this is going to be good. You just germinated your, your uh, cinnamon basil? Oh, gee, mama. Get it together, Catherine. Always teaching. Love it. <laughs> okay, here's the basil. Cinnamon basil. All right. And then this one is bomb. 
dragon head. Now this looks really good. This bomb. Um, pronounce it Moldarian dragon head. I love the flower. You know that's what really attracted me to this. But I, I've decided to try this one too. Nice flower, yeah. Yep. And then I got Mint Mountain. Yeah, this one is Mint Mountain. Generally perennial, an easy to grow pollinator plant loaded with nectar so the delicate spotted flowers hum with life. Mammals won't bother it, yet it's a delight in the garden because simply brushing this um, plant will release a beautiful mint aroma. Mountain mint. Now, Bab, do you have mountain mint? Mountain mint? And the reason why I got it too, because it's perennial. I think they're all perennial. I'll, I'll go back and check. And then, you know, I got stevia. Stevia, yes. The reason why I got stevia is because of the fact that it's like sugar and i use i use sugar and sugar is not good for you of course and so drinking all of this tea and then putting sugar in it is not helping things uh whereas the stevia because it is um, natural you never heard of it oh, okay um stevia um it's tender perennial and it says, the hard to find and famous natural sugar substitute. Leaves are dried, used to sweeten drinks and desserts. Much sweeter than sugar. Wow. <laughs> but I think because it's natural, that it would be good to have. I want to grow stevia again. Mine stayed outside too long. Okay, G Mama Girl. So you, does it really taste like that? Yeah, it's better for us. Yeah, so I got stevia to add to the to the drinks. Oh, last seeds are now germinating. Wow. Oh, Lovelace, you're not a stevia fan. So this is new to me. I don't know what it's gonna taste like, but I decided to try it. So uh, just to recap, the stevia is a tender perennial. Yes, very, very, very sweet. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a tender perennial. The mountain mint is a perennial. The reason why I got them as perennials is because I want them to come back and I, you know, so that I'm not continually buying them. And then that way that I can have it every year in the garden. And um, the bomb, this is an annual. This is an annual, though. Um, very difficult to germinate and are expensive for what you get. I can't grow stevia for some reason. Oh, my Renaissance grandma, you can't. I suppose one would have to cover them here in MN. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to try it. I haven't seen the mountain mint before, but I bet that will be amazing. Yeah, this is, um, where's the mountain mint? Yeah, the mountain mint is a perennial. So it's, uh, that would be good. This is an annual. The cinnamon basil is an annual. Oh, you got it. Raisha, you did get it to germinate, but afterwards you couldn't. Okay. Cinnamon, cinnamon basil. Spicy. Um, you know, I have, I, I'm, I have a um, purple perella. I just buy one in the spring and propagate it. Oh, okay. Um, the um, the basil, the cinnamon basil. Um, I'm wondering if if it is like um, my purple perella, if it will self seed. Because some of these that are annuals. They may propagate themselves and self-seed. Cinnamon basil is a beast. Uh, what do you mean like that? It does self-seed. Um, so this would this would grow. <coughs> That's good. 
And then um, this one here that I had gotten, the bomb, it's an annual. This one is an annual, but maybe it has seeds too. So it might be one of those self-seeders as well. And then the Korean hyssop. The hyssop is a perennial. So this is a perennial. I'm happy that this is a perennial. So that's what I got. One, two, three, four, five. Five new um, seeds, seed packs to add to my herbal garden. And, um, and then, of course, they gave me the free lemon, uh, lettuce. Well, we'll see. It grows big and fast. Okay, good, good, good. You're talking about the, the basil. That is good. I'm glad, not sure of self CD. I never have. Okay, thank you, Rachel. Yeah, and so I got that, but then I went, uh, very nice. I pray that they all do amazing. Thank you, Lovelace. Thank you. Was that a special package group from Baker Creek? No, um, that was, actually, I just went through the... Um, the website and happened to come across them and decided that I wanted them. I think I chose it under, I just put in the, um, the search. I put herb, herb seeds and then they had the section that came up. They had different sections that came up that would come up of the different seeds. And I just used, I just selected from that. Let me see if I can, let me see uh, if I can put, I'm going to put herbal, maybe I typed in herbal teas. Oh, yeah. It said herbal, and I got herbal tea, and I hit that, and then that's what came up. The herbal teas. See, it just, the, it just, I hit herbal teas and it just came up, all of the different teas. And so I just read through and decided what I would like to have. And um, the price wasn't bad. I mean, I, most of this, I just started using my bee balm leaves for tea yeah you know i have the bee balm and i have not used the bee balm leaves for tea i just like how it smells and i know i could drink it um but i really haven't used it uh which i should because i know that that's what it's for isn't that something um i also went to the dollar tree and I picked up some more of the microgreens. <laughs> These are the last three packs that they had. It smells good, too, Mama. Yeah. The last three are microgreen seeds. I really enjoy growing the microgreens. Uh, hey, Yami, how are you? I enjoyed growing the microgreens. It was uh, such a really good... Um, process something nice to put together and um I, I enjoyed the process i did i did but they only had three left three seeds left packages so i was so glad to get them um and then i also picked up some uh, zinnia Um, I picked up some zinnia seeds as well. You know, before they used to have it in the box, but I guess this is probably more economical, having it in the packets. Uh, but I'm looking forward to getting the zinnias because I got so many really nice um, zinnias from them in the past. Um, so I picked up two, two of these. So I have some additional seeds, and uh, it's just... It's good to have, right? It's good to have. Um, and what else? Oh, okay. So that's the seed haul. And I thank you all for the encouragement. I enjoyed uh, your comments on it. And um, I, I was starting my planning for my seeds. 
let me move some of these things here in my, in my journal and I was thinking about well what do I already have I'm ready to start my flowers hello children of Zion 28 how are you I see the dollar 20 foot is um, what did you say G mama vermiculting with the flower seeds now what does that mean vermi call it what does that mean I don't know what that means <laughs> but anyway semi dwarf palmaria mixed colors it says non GMO but anyway um, I decided to to list because I went into thinking about my herbal garden and I started listing what I wanted and what I have already and I wanted to have mints and I do have mints I have spearmint for afternoon yummy and children of Zion yes I have mints already I have mints that I bought from last year I do have some sage I have thyme, dill, basil, chives, um, chamomile. Hey, Debra, how are you? It's soil mineral used to aerate the soil. Oh, vim, vimulite. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I didn't see that, but that's good. That's good. Um, chives. Um, chamomile, marjoram, oregon, oregano, see oregon, <laughs> oregano, rosemary, cilantro, lavender, lemon balm, and bee balm. And then I, for the mints, I have peppermint, ginger mint, spearmint, and orange mint. Yeah. Just came in from direct sewing some radishes debra vermiculite oh vermiculite oh, okay <laughs> oh well i must be sleepy you guys forgive me i don't know why but you know actually um you know you know you know uh, it's amazing because um i i I laid, I took a nap. I was feeling so tired. And I took a nap and um, I woke up, woke back up, found myself at five o'clock. And I said, oh my goodness, I have to go and get myself ready. Um, but I had already prepped and put things out. So I knew what I wanted to talk to you all about. And I almost missed it. I said, oh my goodness, I hope I didn't miss you all. So you guys got to excuse me. I, I think I am. I am um, still um, kind of trying to wake up from earlier. I must have been really tired. But anyway, I'm so glad I didn't miss you all. And then I'm here. I'm sleepy as well. It must be the day. I love naps, though. They can be so, re naps, that they can be re so refreshing. Thank you. Thank you for sympathizing with me, Lovelace. Yeah. Yeah. Planted them with plastic protection. No snow yet. Okay, that's good. You are doing great. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, so, um, yes, yeah, so that's okay, honey. <laughs> so let me go on. Uh, what else are we going to, okay. Um, the tulips. I am so happy. You're still good. Thank you, sweetness. <laughs> thank you, Beth. Um, yeah, so I was thinking about the, um, I was thinking that, um, I already have a lot of herbs in my garden from previous years. You still love me? That's good. <laughs> uh, um, from previous years. Uh, like the lemon balm and the bee balm. Like I already have in my garden lemon balm, bee balm. I have lavender, my lavender plants. Hopefully they'll be coming back. Uh, chamomile has self-sown, so I got that. 
I have marjoram um, in, a, in a pot. I have the mints that are already in the garden, like spearmint. And I have in pots the orange mint, the uh, peppermint, the ginger mint that I got from with, with you all. Remember, Bev, last year I ordered the ginger mint? I hope they will come back. I have them in pots and looking forward to them returning. And then I did my, uh, you love marjoram? Oh, yes. And the oregano, I have that in pot also. Um, so I'm hoping that a lot of them, and some of them are in the, it's all good, my love. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that um, the, the sage will return. Last year, the sage came back. Yeah, you want to make sure that, uh, yeah, yeah, we're just hoping that the ginger mint will return too. Um, the sage grew and it had a beautiful purple flower. I was so impressed with my sage that they returned and it had that beautiful purple flower. I said, wow, I want that um, to put in with my roses because I could see that the beautiful leaf, the leaf, because the sage leaf is almost like it has a gray tint to it. And I think it would look so pretty with the purple, with the, with the roses, because it was around the same time that the flower uh, came in. And so that I can tuck it in between the roses, uh, or around the roses. Of course, thyme, you know, is a really great um, ground cover as well as a, uh, a seasoning. And then dill, um, my basil. I love to plant my basil from seed and, and using the uh, Dollar Tree seeds, the basil Dollar Tree seeds. Uh, that's really good. Yes, my lemon thyme looks good. Oh, right. I tried the lemon thyme, Rachel, and um, it would grow for the, the year, but then it never returned. You know, it's hard to return. I hope my pineapple mint comes back. Yes, that's another good one, pineapple mint. But the thing is, is that my um, my gardens at the garden center, every year they have um, mints that they have that you could get. You remember those big containers of mints that they had? Um, so I'm hoping that they will be returning. And if not, I could always buy the, the starts and uh, try again. But pineapple mint, Dexter keeps pee on my time. Oh, Lord, that Dexter. Um, um, but the pineapple mint, it seems to be rare and expensive. And the thing is, is that they would give you in a really big container. One, one, one um, company grows it, and then they have this other company that has it. And for the same price, it's a small, small container. It's like... Ridiculous. It has stays green all season. Oh wow, that's that's good. Now, do you use your your seat your um your herbs for cooking? Have has any of you all dried your herbs or used it for cooking? Um, because that would be good. Yeah, I don't think it is the when I I planted it. Ha ha ha. I did. I don't think it through when I plant. Okay. All right. Um, well, this time you got to think it through. And of course, you know, that is part of our, of my, of this year to be more intentional in gardening, the intentional garden journal, being more intentional and um, really filling out the garden with what I really want to have. I use so much cumin. I need to grow more. Yeah, to really be intentional about, well, what is it that you want to grow and what do you want to have and why you want to have it? Yes, mix all my dehydrated mints for tea. You do. Oh, that's good. Yeah, last year I said I wanted to get a dehydrator and um, I still haven't done that yet. But I do like the teas fresh. Yes, I dry my herbs in paper bags and my dehydrator to use in cooking and teas. Yeah, the paper bag method... I've tried that. I try to use some of my dried herbs, but not so much as I should, says Deborah. Yeah, and Monica had said that she, she says, yes, I dry my herbs in paper bags and my dehydrator to use in cooking and teas. That is the intention. That is the intention, Monica. Yes, 
to dry them and to save the teas for times like these, like now. And um, so it's just a matter of, of, of going through the process. And um, I tried the paper bag method before. Um, I don't know if you know of Linda of the New, New Orleans Garden. I'm sure you all know her. Um, but she had shown that using the paper bag. And you could get paper bags. I, I miss saying hello, Deborah. Oh, that's nice. Yankee sister saying hello to Deborah. Woo. <laughs> um, she, she used the paper bag method. And G Mama, she got her paper bags from the Dollar Tree. Okay. <laughs> this is a while back. I had seen one of her, her videos on that. And um, yeah, I had tried it. And then some people, they um, dry their teas. The herbs seem to dry faster for you. Whoa, that's good. That's good. Some people dry their um, teas in the oven that they've tried. I tried the oven method, but I found that it had a burnt um, taste to it because some of the, if you don't catch it, oh yes, yes, um, the burnt, it got, the leaves got a little uh, burnt and so it didn't have a nice flavor. The tea didn't have a nice flavor. Um, but I think with all of these herbs that I have here, that I can really get it together. In paper bags, I'm feeding my face. <laughs> That's all right, Monica. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, anyone else try um, growing teas? And, and so forth. Chloe, what about you? A vintage gardener? And vintage guy, Brooke is busy doing all different kinds of things. She's just busy as a bee. Yeah, she's just busy. I talk about busy as a bee. I don't know if you know Angela, a busy bee homestead. Um, she also used the paper bag method. And she also had like a, a netting where she was able to put them in and let them air dry, the, the herbs air dry. So I'm, I'm going to try to think of different ways to dry. Um, never heard of the paper bag method. Would love to learn that. Okay, Francesca, maybe we'll try some of that. And um, love laces. I have not yet, but I would love to try it. Yeah, we'll 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 learn more about it. I never heard of it. If the paper bag method either. Well, you put the herbs in the paper in a in a paper bag. You know the sandwich bags, the paper bag sandwich bags, and you hang it up and you let ventilate it and you let it um, dry naturally but it's the paper bag just pr protects it from dust if i can't dehydrate right away i will put it in a paper bag well thelma will also do a video on that when the time is right right thelma <laughs> i label the bag and drop the herb in yes i'm down to my last chamomile camellia something plant out of three i'm hoping it pulls through i hope so too Camellia, Sanilisis plant. Mm -hmm. I'll be watching for that. Yep. Yes, yeah, she will. She's going to help us with drying the herbs. She's going to help us with drying our herbs. I'm so excited. Almost tried. Thank you so much for sharing time with me. I must get, get dinner ready for the, the elders. Have a blessed, oops, have a blessed evening. I will rewatch. Okay. Bye, Lovelace. Thank you for coming and joining us. We do appreciate your presence. Blessings to you, too. We're going to be ending shortly also. Um, we still have about 10 or so more minutes or so. Um, I still have some time on my phone. Uh, and I want to talk about this. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. Um, I got this. What did you say, G Mama? G, G Mama says, uh, Camellia sensicius is the original tea plant green, black, and uh, um, oolong tea comes from this one plant. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, you know, actually, I saw a video of that, how tea is made. I started to watch it, and then after a while, I, I, I fell asleep on it. But, yeah, that is really, really good. Um, Chloe says, I'm interested in learning about herb gardening, but thus far, I don't have any experience in this area of gardening. All right. Well, Chloe, it's, time, it's an adventure for you. You can start with the basics. Mint. You could do some mint, some basil, some thyme. But with mints, like peppermint and spearmint and all of that, you want to put them in a container because they, they can be thuggish and they can overrun your garden. So you don't want to put it, you want to make sure you put it someplace where you, you don't mind it growing freely because it will spread. It's a spreader. Or put it in a pot. But you can then cut the tea leaves and drink them, the natural leaves, and it tastes real good. Just boil the leaves like how you boil other things and you just drink the liquid. It's really nice. And some people steep it instead. They put it in like... Um, in a, 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 um, a pot, you know, one of those teapots, and then they just put the hot water on it and let it sit, and it steeps, and they drink it that way too. Um, I like to boil the tea, because uh, then I get all of the nutrients out of it, and uh, I like it to get to that like, nice dark color. I have some... I have some videos on the teas. If I remember, I can go back and put it in the show notes so that you could check it out. Um, but I do have um, videos about making tea. And we call in the West Indies bush tea. My mom would, uh, when she was living in um, on the island of Montserrat, which is, she's not there anymore uh, in Montserrat, but at that time, my parents moved back to the islands. And she would go out into the garden and pick, pick um, the leaves from the trees. And they have, she had what, what is called soursop, a soursop tree. And she would pick the, the leaves from the soursop tree, from the lemon tree, and some of the other trees. We'd have lemongrass growing, and she would make a concoction and we'd have it with us, uh, drink to drink with our breakfast. It was really good. So, um, G, um, G Mama Gross says, I'm back to using my coffee press to make tea. I broke my teapot. Oh, no. Yes, we call it bush tea, too. You do? Oh, bam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bush tea. I will definitely watch those herbal videos. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> I just put a, a combination of different bush together and just put it in. And I like I like the flavor of basil as the tea, with the teas as well. Um, I like the strong taste and I like that um, different taste. But then also you can add honey and you can add lemon to the tea as well. And uh, it just gives it a nice flavor. It's, you can make it mild, you can make it strong, um, either way. But um, it is very healthy for you. And, um, you know, it's the chlorophyll in the tea. The, the leaves that give us, that nurture our bodies, the chlorophyll, because you're getting it from the sun. Uh, the chlorophyll in the, the green, that makes the green in the leaves. I enjoy basil tea, you do too, G Mama? Yeah, the, the green in the leaves is what gives, um, is what the, you know, carries the, the source from the sun. And when we drink that natural fresh, especially if you cut it fresh, um, that moment and you boil it, you know, not too long from that, you know, like 10 minutes, you go out into the garden, pick your tea, come in, put it in the pot, boil it, and then drink it. Um, you're getting the nutrients, the, the freshness versus buying the tea bags. And with the tea bags, what happens is that they, uh, they spoil, you know, they've been sitting there for for a long time, even drying out the teas too. Um, but when you drink fresh tea leaves, fresh tea, it's it's really good for your body, especially um, as much as you possibly can. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what did, what are you saying? Miss Linda mentioned last year to pick the 
Myr the Myra lemon leaves and use them. What a fragrance it has. Yes, the Myra lemon leaves. Yeah, the leaves. I love jasmine green tea. I brew a big container every few days. I've been adding my dried stevia. It is so, so good. Yes, Rachel. Oh, lovely Yankee sister. I can buy some lime leaves at the Asian market. I should add them to some tea. Yes, Rachel. That sounds good. That sounds good. You guys are making me, you're inspiring me to really get excited about this tea thing. Um, that's, I'm so happy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so that is something that we're going to be working on. And um, I'm just gathering, as I said, I used my pineapple and apple mint as tea last year. Yes, Rachel. Yeah, yeah, says G Mama Gross. You're inspiring us all, Rachel. <laughs> Yes. See, I made my list here. And so now I've, I'm going to be adding on my two, my new seeds here. And, oh, I did bottle sow. I started my winter sowing, and I sowed some sage and some thyme and some of the perennial um, herbs. Um, it's a little chilly. So I covered my, my um, I kept the, 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 the top on. Um, I just felt like they just needed a little bit uh, to keep the moisture in. I love, I love like I have a couple of bags of frozen limes. I sliced up, I drop it into my water or iced tea. Love them. Yes. Limes. Okay. A frozen limes. Yes. Yes. I dried pineapple skins in my tea for the first time and liked it. Pineapple skins. Oh, wow, yeah, I like blackberry sage tea. Woo, you guys are going. <laughs> blackberry sage, that sounds nice. Ooh, I love it. I'm going to have to make myself a cup of tea and I'm finished. You know, oh, and ginger, actual growing ginger. People, oh, I, I, I thought about it. You know, um, soil and margaritas, um, what's her name, Roxanne? She grew ginger, and I said, I have to go, when I go, I'm going to get me some ginger, and uh, she showed how to plant the ginger in the soil, and she created a big pot of ginger, and then she harvested, harvest the ginger, and she did that uh, just recently. Um, last year, I grew ginger. I did try it, and I used this water method, the hydroponic method, I used the same, I had, my husband had given me one of these um, two years ago, and um, I use it as a vase, but also I used it to put my ginger in, and the ginger rooted, and um, then I put it in soil, and I did, it did, it was just one little piece of ginger, it did grow a small piece next to it, and that ginger was so fresh. It was so fresh. It was just a small little piece like this. Um, and I cut it up and I put it in my tea and it was so fresh. It was, it's so pugnant, you know, and strong. It was really good. So I want to grow ginger also. I need to put that down on my, in my book. Yes. Ginger, ginger. I, I pulverize my ginger to powder. Can use it for tea? Yes. You can put ginger tea. That's why we have ginger mint. And, and ginger, you mix ginger with lemon. Don't you see how they sell the ginger and lemon in the, in the stores? Yeah. Slice up your ginger and add some lemon and honey. Delicious. I use ginger in my Swedish meatballs. You do? Wow, that must be giving it a good, nice, um, hot taste. Yeah, ginger. I gotta grow me some ginger. And I use this method, I've used this method also. Oh, so by the way, here, tulips, bloom maker, isn't this nice? Uh, when my husband brought it uh, for, for, um, for Valentine's, it was just right here. I think he, he got it on, he got it on, two, when was, when, he bought it on Monday. 
You bought it on Monday, so you'll have it for me on Tuesday for Valentine's Day. And uh, so it's been with me for Monday. And when it came, it was below the line. It was right here. The leaves were right here. And in that short space of time, look at how the leaves have grown. And if you look at the bottom, you can see the, um, the tulips are on this little plastic thing here. And it's just the roots. And it's growing roots down. I love how it looks. It's a good project for children, Francesca, to, for them to see it grow. And uh, I know that my grandbabies are going to love this. Uh, they're going to be so excited to see this because over time it then grows and you end up having um, beautiful, beautiful blooms. I really love how it looks. So they show you the process here. Here it starts out like this. That's the way I received it. And then it starts to grow. And then, uh, then you have the blooms. And um, it's, let's see. No buds, enjoy blooms in two to three weeks. It takes about two to three weeks for the process to happen before it starts to flower. And it's just so good. It's like um, a precursor to Easter or just to add some color into your home and, to, and some greenery. And I think it's just beautiful just the way it is. I love how it's packaged. Yeah, and we talked about that last week, Debra. Yes, a plant is so much better than cut flowers. Yeah, um, now this, these, these bulbs, last year I tried to save the bulbs, um, but I didn't do a good job of it. I kind of, um, I wasn't good in, in replanting them. But maybe this year I'll do a better job in, in finding a location to plant them. I got uh, sidetracked and um, somehow I didn't put the, the bulbs in the right place. But I think that they should grow back. I don't know why not. Um, but hopefully um, I'll be able to get it together this year. But <clears throat> right now I'm just pleased with it. I think it's beautiful and I'm very thankful for the tulips. And last but not least... Uh, someone noticed my fig trees. Yes, you, you guys, look at my fig trees. Look at how, how they've grown. Look at the size of the leaves. From the little stick, it was just, remember, it was just a little stick, and I actually put it in the container like this. And I made a floral arrangement. And look at it now. And all, I have three of them, and all three of them are doing very very well the other one is in a different location but look at this look at the size of this isn't that nice and so i'm just i'm just happy that they're happy growing in um in the um in the house yeah for some reason they're just happy in my home and i found a window and i keep moving them around yeah, I keep, they, they, they're happy. They're happy in the home. So, um, so that's pretty much it, my lovelies. Um, thank you so much. You helped to, to carry me through. Thank you for the thumbs up, the likes. Come on, hit the like button. And welcome to those who watch. Um, come and join us here at Catherine's Garden and Home. Where we grow, 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 grow together as we go through our intentional gardening practice. Mm -hmm. Intentional garden of, of 2023. This is my original journal. Martha Henry, Master Gardener. Hi, hello from Monterey Bay in California. I've been there. I've been to Monterey. Yes, it's a beautiful spot. Thank you for joining us. And if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the, the like bell, the button. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, I love Monterey. Oh, I spent it. It was at this hotel. It was so beautiful. What a beautiful town. Yeah. So um, if you, oh, did you have a great time? Yes. Good. You did subscribe. Hi, Martha. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. We're about to. 
to close um but we grow 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 together grow 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 together grow 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 together in Catherine's garden and home that's right grow 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 together grow 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 together grow 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 together in Catherine's garden and home Catherine's garden and home yes grow 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 Sonia grow 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 Thelma, grow, grow, a Deborah, grow, grow, grow Thelma, grow, grow, G Mama grows, grow, grow, Rachel, grow, grow, Yami, grow, grow, Monica, grow, grow, Martha Henry. Yes, grow, grow, yeah, and me. A grow, grow, Brooke. A grow, grow, who else is here? Rachel. Grow, 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 grow together in Catherine's garden and home. Grow, grow, Monica. Uh, grow, grow. Who else? A Renaissance mom. Grow, grow, glory, grow, 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 <laughs> Catherine's garden and home, that's right, Catherine's garden and home, grow, grow, Beverly, grow, 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 oh, 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 oh. you know I'm happy, I am feeling so happy today, I am feeling so happy, I am so excited about this herbal tea garden that we're going to be putting together. I am so excited about my tulips. I am so excited about my fig tree that when I'm able to put it up. And I'm so excited about winter sowing. I'm so excited about you all. By the way, if you have a Beverly, grow, grow, Beverly, grow, grow, my Renaissance grandma, Chloe, yes. So good to have you. Grow, grow, everybody. Mm -mm. Grow, 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 grow together. In Catherine's garden and home. Uh-huh, uh-huh. In Catherine's garden and home. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we pray that the sun will continue to shine. Yes. Yes, as we grow, that the sun will shine. Yeah, 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 yes. As we get healthier, brighter, loving, and let our gardens feed our soul. Did you get my email? If you did not get my email, please check your spam folder and see that I, if, if you sent me, if you went to my website, Catherine's Garden Home, and you um, emailed me, you contact me, I put you on a subscriber list to receive emails from me, some little sweet messages. And if you got my email, make sure that you hit it and check it out because I sent you a beautiful love message, okay? And I want to connect with you through email as well. I'm not going to spam you. I'm not going to crowd up your email. You know, some people every day is like, please. Um, no, I am going to give you special messages, and you don't want to miss it. Betty, did you get yours? Betty Johnson, did you get your email? Yes, and I just wanted you to know how much I do appreciate you all. You make me happy. You fill me with joy. I am, like, addicted to you all, okay? <laughs> just like these seeds. <laughs> You're part of my seed addiction, my gardening addiction. Yes. You're part of the makeup. Yes. And you help me to just want to do more. So please. Yes, got it. Thank you. Yes. So make sure you click it and, um, and read it and enjoy it and know that I appreciate you. Thank you all so much for coming and joining me here, if I didn't sing your, your name, know that it's not because um, I, um, you know, 
I'm sliding you. No, it's because I didn't I don't remember or I didn't see your name as I was scrolling. But I, I am singing to all of you and I welcome everyone, even those who are watching the replay. Um, and Ellen, Auntie Ellen, Auntie Ellen is always coming on and uh, she watches the comments. I mean, she watches the replay. So I want to say a shout out to Auntie Ellen. Do you know Auntie Ellen? She always comments on my, um, on a lot of the videos. She watches the videos. Please watch my videos. Please comment. Some of you are so loyally good at it. Rachel, thank you. Um, all of you that, that comment. Sonia, you're good at it. Yami, yes, seed comments. Thank you all. Monica comments. Yes. Yeah, she lives in Connecticut. Yes. Uh, thank you all for commenting. And so I am going to say goodbye before my phone dies. And um, I want to thank you and see you next week uh, right here at 5.30 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time at Catherine's Garden and Home. That's right, Catherine's Garden and Home. Uh -huh. Catherine's Garden and Home. Oh, yes. She always talks about you to her. Yeah, good night, everybody. Monica, love you. Thank you for coming. Next time you'll be first. <laughs> Yay! Lovelace uh, had to leave. Sonia, sweetness. Yay! Bev, yay! Deborah, woo! G Mama Gross, Rachel, Chloe, everybody. Bye! Catherine's Garden and home.